What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color the guest from Hello Neighbor 2. Now you want to begin today's lesson on the top right side of our page with the front edge of the hood. So we'll start right in the middle of our page. We'll draw a curve that goes up and then we'll bend that out towards the right. Now from the right side, we'll draw the top edge of the beak coming down towards the tip. So we'll start up here, bend this out and bring that all the way down towards the bottom. Now from the bottom of the hood, we're going to step up and draw the bottom edge of the beak. We come down, and then just bend that out towards the tip. Let's draw another curve along the bottom of the beak. Starting down here, come down, just following that same curve. We pull that out, and we'll tuck this up underneath the top of the beak with a slight bend. Now you want to connect the top of the beak to the tip with another curve. Come down. And then just bend that out, and it will fill the inside of the mouth. Now with the beak in place, we're going to draw the outside of the head. Let's start from this bottom point. We step down, curve the hood going around, and just pull that up. Now I'm going to wrap the hood around the beak, starting up here. So we curve this up, out toward the side, bend that back in, and it will fill the inside of the hood. Now I'm going to round out the top of the head. From this line, I'm going to step up, draw a half circle, going up toward the top of the head, and round this out, and then come down on the outside. Let's add another fold along the back of the head. I'm going to step up. Pull this around and then bend that in. Now from here we're going to work our way down the body. From the side of the neck, curve the back going out and then bring that down towards the bottom. Now we're going to place the arm on top of the body. Starting right up here, start with a curve going up and then down across the shoulder. And then on the back we're going to bend the arm coming in and then down towards the elbow. Let's go to the front of the shoulder, bend this in, and then down towards the inside of the elbow. Let's bend the forearm from the elbow, come down and out with a straight angled line. Go to the top of the elbow, draw that same angled line coming down. Now I'm going to wrap the cuff around the wrist. From here, step up, draw an oval, coming down, go across the arm towards the top, and then bring that back down and we'll fill the bottom and top of the glove. Let's go to the bottom of that oval, draw a straight line going out towards the wrist. Now from the top, we're just going to bend this down and then out. Let's draw in the hand. We'll start with the palm, bend this down and then out. And we'll add the first finger. Draw a straight line coming down, bend the finger coming around and then up. Now I'm just going to trace this back in and then up towards the hand. Let's add another finger. And we're going to down and out, bending the finger coming in, and again just tracing this up towards the top. Let's add one more finger, go straight out, and just out and down, coming back in towards the hand. Now from the wrist, we're going to wrap the thumb in behind that finger. Curve up and out, and this out and then back down. Now I'm going to go back underneath the chin and draw the front edge of the body. Coming in, and then down, round this out, round up the belly, and then pull that back in behind the arm. And then from the back, we're going to round up the hip, and just pull that in behind the arm on the left side. Now I'm going to add that strap across the shoulder. Starting from the outside, pull this up around the arm, and then back down. Step up and draw that again. Now I'm going to place that large bag across the back. Starting from the top of the strap, going out, and then down. And then round up the bag, 
and just pull that in toward the back of the body. Let's add a patch along the inside. Start with a straight angle line, and we'll draw a square. Coming down the sides, and it pulls off the bottom. And we'll surround that square with some stitches. Start with two straight lines across the top and bottom, and then one line on the side. And go back up to the top and draw in that rope. Start with the curve going up and then down. Let's draw the top of the sack from here. Goes up and then out. Curve down and up. And add one more curve. And bring this back down and in towards the back. Let's draw on the back side. Start by going up and then down. And do that one more time towards the right. Let's draw the other arm coming down in behind the body. Starting down here, start with a straight angle line coming down, and step up, and let's up and back. Let's draw on the thumb. Bring this down, across, and take that back up. And go up to the top of the wrist, draw a straight angle line, bend the finger, coming out and then down. And we'll just taper that back in towards the hand. Let's add another finger in behind. Bring this down, and then we'll tuck that in. Let's add one more finger going in behind the thumb, and then down. Go back up and around the palm. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the sweater. Starting on the left side, start with a straight line coming down, close off the right side. And we'll follow the same curve of the body, coming around and then in behind the arm. Now you want to draw our character stepping forward. So from the bottom of the body on the left, step in, curve the bottom, come down, and then go straight out towards the knee. Let's round out the calf, come around, down, and bend that down towards the ankle. And we'll go back up underneath the arm, angle the leg. Coming down and out towards the knee. Now the legs are get narrow as you come down towards the ankle. So draw a straight line all the way down. Let's round up the heel. Coming out and then down. Now we we'll round up the foot. Coming down and then back up. Let's connect the ankle to the toe with another curve. Then from the ankle, step up at a curve to the edge of the boot. Let's draw the back leg in behind. Starting from the left, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the knee, towards the same height. Curve the calf, going out, down, and then back out towards the ankle. Now we're going to draw the front of the leg. Starting underneath, draw a straight line coming down towards the knee. And then again, we're going to tape the leg so it gets narrower as we come in towards the ankle. Let's round up the heel, coming down towards the bottom of the foot. And we'll round up the bottom, coming down, and then up towards the toe. Let's close off the top of the foot with that same curve. And we'll draw the edge of the boot. Now that we complete our drawing, let's go in with our yellow and fill in the beak. Start with the bottom. We're going to use our darker yellow for the bag. And we'll use that same color for the arms. We're going to use our purple to fill in the body. Going we'll around the strap and the arms. And using that brown, the rope, and the strap. I'm going to use a dark gray to fill the hands and the boots.
and we'll use this dark greenish gray for the legs. Now we use a darker purple to add some stripes inside the hood and the body. Just working with the curve of the head, coming around. And starting from the back, working our way towards the right. Now we're going to use our brown pencil crayon to add a shade to the front of the beak. I'm just going to blend this out as you go up. We'll do the same thing across the bottom. And we'll use that same color across the top of the arm and blend that down towards the elbow. Now using our white pencil crayon, we'll add a highlight across the top edge of the beak. We'll do the same thing across the top of the arm. With the shoes. And as we finish off our highlights, we'll always be sure to sign our artwork, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color the guests from Hello Neighbor 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.